So, geoengineering. One of the weirdest and most James Bond-esque ways of solving climate change. What is it? How does it work? What might results be? Well, to start at the beginning, geoengineering at its most basic is using man-made technology and science to change the Earth's natural global systems. Imagine being able to shoot clouds into the sky to produce shade on a particularly sunny day, or growing excess amounts of plankton that help to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The IPCC's sixth assessment report draws attention to two different types of geoengineering. The first is carbon dioxide removal, and the second is solar radiation modification. Carbon dioxide removal includes methods such as direct air carbon capture and storage. Machines that literally pull CO2 directly from the air. And there's also bioenergy with carbon capture and storage, growing biomass as an energy source, which during its lifetime captures CO2 as part of photosynthesis. Solar radiation modification includes methods such as stratospheric aerosol injection. In this case, reflective particles would be injected into the atmosphere, either via cannons or planes, to cool the planet over a matter of months. It's similar to the effects of large volcanic eruptions, such as Pinatubo, which reduced global temperatures by about half a degree C for several years. So what's your take on geoengineering? Will it become a necessary evil? Or is it needless meddling with the Earth's natural systems? Want more no-fluff takes on sustainability? Hit subscribe and stay tuned.